Hey Grey Drivers, today we're going to have a look at the first two releases from the Whiskey Works, which they describe as being a modern whiskey experiment by the Whiskey Works Limited. And so these are two very different whiskies. Um, one is a 29 year old uh, Glaswegian single grain Scotch whiskey from a now silent distillery that did actually sit on the banks of the Clyde. And the other is a 10 year old Highland blended malt. So a blend of malt whiskies. And we're gonna go through in almost reverse order to what you'd think. So we're gonna go the 29 year old grain first and see just how we get on. So, picking up the grain, it's a beautiful color, nice, nice deep, uh, deep amber, like burning gold actually. Wow, on the, on the nose, that, that is super fresh. That for me is an incredibly fresh whiskey, one that has all the kind of characteristics of what you want from an ancient grain, that lovely butterscotch, that, that kind of buttery note there, which is typical of the style of whiskey. Um, but then it also has uh, very clearly some fabulous, fabulous exotic fruits there too. Getting kind of a syrupy pineapple, bit of kiwi. Ooh. Oh, that butteriness is just wonderful. <laughs> Fans of Great Drams will know that I'm a real sucker for green whiskey. Absolutely love the stuff. It's what makes up the, uh, the highballs in our house every single time they're made. Um, we actually use uh, an Invergordon um, grain whiskey for that. But every single grain whiskey that I know, I love, is because of that beautiful butteriness that comes through on the nose, just kind of draws you in, reassures you, makes you just feel a little bit welcome. And then it will hit on the palate and I can't wait to dive in. Here we go. Mm. Creaminess, that butteriness, those beautiful fruits just singing and coming alive in the mouth. That pineapple note is just bouncing around my tongue at the minute. Absolutely superb. Ooh, really juicy as well. It's making me salivate with every kind of thought about it and every single um, kind of resip, if you like. I'm going to have to go back in for a second. Now, take careful look at the packaging of this. Really beautiful design. On the side, it actually talks you through the flavor notes there. I mean, they, for example, getting uh, butterscotch, woody spice, I'm definitely getting that spiciness. Coconut, that tropical fruit, the juicy pineapple, fantastic. Genuinely didn't read Ed, by the way. Never liked to. And a creamy custard, I can't kind of see that, although mine was more kind of uh, fresh cream, like strawberries and cream, star cream. Um, I love the stopper. It's actually etched into the wood there. The whiskey works. Uh, sorry, whiskey maker and bottler. Marvellous. Only released a couple of months ago. And yeah, can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. Shall we try the second one? The answer is yes. Very much yes. So, secondly, we're going to go with the king of trees. 10 year old Highland blended malt Scotch whiskey, as explained earlier. Part finished, and here's the interesting thing here, part finished in native Scottish oak casks. So this was, uh, to my knowledge, um, mostly um, matured in ex bourbon casks and also virgin oak American uh, casks as well. But then some of the blend, blended malt here uh, was actually finished in native Scottish oak casks, which doesn't happen that often. Um, and the box I was reading earlier, um, it actually says, uh, the whiskey employs a rare maturation process using wood from two centuries old Scottish oak trees, wind felled on a Highland estate. So operating with the uh, similar kind of ethos, mantra and, and uh, kind of, trueness to uh to nature there wind fell i it wasn't forced down it fell 
uh, which is very similar to how uh, Mizunara casks are made over in Japan. They have to fall naturally for them to be able to be used, uh, to chopped up, seasoned, etc, etc, made into the uh, beautiful rare casks that they are. So this is a 10 year old, um, also from the Whiskey Works as we explained earlier, and let's have a go. So, Ooh, this one, a little bit more meat to this one on the, uh, on the nose especially. Is that note I'm getting here? Oh, of course. Pears. I always struggle with pears. Um, so for me, this is actually a really fresh, ripe kind of uh, orchard fruit with that. I was getting apples, but the pear note is especially interesting. Um, it's like more of a stewed pear for me uh, with the fresh apple undertone. So a real juxtaposition of notes. There's an interesting spiciness there as well, I'm guessing from the multiple wood types and that Scottish oak wood coming through as well. Um, ooh, yeah. Mm. The oakiness here is really quite astounding. Not in a, this is a woody whiskey, but more that it really shows the eloquence and the dexterous nature of using different types of oak and a newish type of oak as well. It's not really used that often um, to bring alive the character of a whiskey that, you know, is effectively an experiment. The Whiskey Works is all about experimentation with different whiskey styles, with different whiskey ages, with in different inputs, different oaks, and all of that magical stuff to create some wonderful whiskies. And it's Greg Glass, um, the uh, master blender behind this range. Um, and even with each one, fabulous. I mean, you may see it mirrors the uh, packaging colors here, but with each one, you get a little oh, a swatch uh, insert. And so for the 29 year old Glaswegian, um, this one is called a classic whiskey selected and bottled by the Whiskey Works, Greg Glass, Whiskey Maker. Um, and then we have the King of Trees, a modern whiskey experiment by the Whiskey Works. So you've got the two different styles there, the classic and the modern, working together, beautifully designed, really quite vibrant and alive in its creative as well. Um, a real uh, emphasis on storytelling, different layers and the design aesthetic for me just brings alive those flavor profiles quite magically. Um, and especially the amount of detail it goes into on the secondary pack here, the box, um, and then on the front, really interesting typography, as much detail as they could probably give us. Um, yeah, very, very impressive. And yeah, I, I'm pretty chuffed to have been able to try that and to have been able to try it with you, my fellow tweet tasters and it's dram time eventers. So let me know what you think in the columns and look forward to hearing your thoughts soon. Cheers.